brings us to another point of, of pivoting. You know, as you as you read the book, as you go through there, you'll you'll notice that you know Scott's made multiple pivots throughout his career. Whether it was you know from contracting to photography to you know building uh, VCR projection machines in his basement to reselling uh, bridges on eBay to you know teaching you know just consistently uh, pivoting you know uh, being agile and, and being able to pivot and, and like you said take take the skills that you have and move to something else you know I'm pretty certain that as a contractor you know or as a photographer I'm pretty certain that Scott wasn't a, 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 a real a master at email marketing but guess what he is today mm -hmm. you know so it's something that you you know that he's learned over over consistently taking action absolutely you know in he when he talks about pivoting he presents it in a positive light which is absolutely how I think it should be presented you know for some reason in today's society uh, when people change their mind or they have an opinion and then they change it they're often looked down upon you know you see that in politics all the time where oh he you know he voted for such and such 10 years ago and now he's he's voting the other way and that's and I really think you know as you get new information uh, it's a good idea to assess what you're doing and how you're spending your time you know one example he gives in the book is early in their photography business they were doing weddings and he said that you know uh, the customers very emotional right it's it's this one day uh, you may only have one chance to get the, the perfect shot uh, and it eats up your weekends. And so he made a small pivot into uh, children's photography and baby photography where you had unlimited chances to get the perfect shot. And that is, you know, it would have really been a shame if he would have got into wedding photography and didn't like it, but then stuck with it because he felt like he just had to. And, and I think that, you know, in e-commerce, you know, you and I are making pivots all the time. And, and it's, it takes, uh, it makes you be a little humble uh, and to admit like, hey, what I was doing was not the best thing to do. You know, that, that was not the most effective strategy. I'm gonna pivot and try something else. And, uh, and, you know, if you're stubborn and you're unwilling to do that, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. It's gonna be tough in life and in business.